Channel niggas, you already know who the fuck this is and what the fuck we playing. We playing Banjo Tooie, baby. Oh my goodness. First episode, usually, first episode in the games is usually the most boring. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna hold y'all niggas to it. You understand me? Usually that's the episode where they tell you the premise of the game, what the fuck you doing, you know, all the moves and shit, you know. We know all the moves. Well, we know where to get all the moves. Um, We got introduced to the characters. I don't think we met everyone just yet, but... I think we know enough, enough, my niggas. All right, so, but last time, we got to use my boy Mumbo. We open up the world a little bit, so let's swap over back to the bear and bird, and let's tell these niggas what's the word. <laughs> now, I believe in order to get back to bear and bird, just jump back on the throne, watch the throne, and I like how Mumbo gets so fucking upset every time like he sits back on the throne. All right, this is an information sign post. Press B when next to one to read it. All right, bet. I'm just going to hold A because... I hate the text scroll speed of this game. All right, use a shiny shiny stone, open up huge doors. All right, cool. Shiny stone, open up huge doors. Um, well, we use mumbo to open up this, this doors. But I guess that will be interesting because I'm pretty sure most people don't know, like, I, did I know to hit kick the doors with the statue? I'm not too sure. I think I just did that through exploration. Usually, like, when you're playing a game, usually you just want to exhaust all your options, right? Like, you don't really want to go through and just, you know, call it a day the moment you're stung. You got to try all your options. They gave you tools, you know? And that, usually when I run through all, like, my usual tools, and that doesn't help me out, then I kind of say fuck it. All right, but I am kind of want to swim down here. I want to see what's down in this area. Um, Usually, Jam Jars is his little, uh... Molehill. He has a little military molehill. Um, usually they're kind of scattered all over the place, so I kind of want to explore. There might be multiple ones. Oh, there's a red Jinjo. Hey, look where exploration gets you. Let's swim to you. All right, so there's six ones in the blood family. What's popping? What's popping? I'm pretty sure some of them Jinjos was caught up in nine tray. <laughs> Yo, some of them Jinjos got caught. All right, we got we need an ability for that, so let's hop off that. Um, I think that's how we exit the level. And I think this is one of the new areas that we've just opened up. Oh man, let's go. Let's see what this new area has in store for us, baby. Let me see. All right. <clears throat> what we got in here? Oh, I see a white Jinjo. I think there's only one white Jinjo up in this bitch. Also, all right, so I think I mentioned this last time. Reason I wanted to talk about, thank you for reminding me. I see, I see. It. So some of you guys, uh, don't know, well, a lot of you guys know about Banjo, Kazooie, Nuts, and Bolt, right? Oh, first, let me get the white ginger and talk to Jam Jars real quick. I need 35 notes. I got 35 notes, but let's get this white ginger real quick. What's poppin'? Oh, I can't get you. Oh, he might, oh, I think Jam Jars actually might help me. I think they might be related, actually. Both of these guys. Hey, grip grab. Yeah, this is what we need. All right, listen to what you've been told. On the edge, you can now hold. Move along with the greatest ease. Press the B button to attack. And please, hey, more bars. Yes, that'll be all. This, this. Hey, cool. So now we can finally flip, grip that ledge, and climb up. I think with A? A? There we go. And get the Jinjo. And there's only one white Jinjo, so we get M drum roll, please. A motherfucker. Wait, this, wait, the White House got destroyed. Where your home at, nigga? Where the white Jinjos be? Oh, they got another house. Okay, cool. Wow, really? The white Jinjos got two houses? All right. All right, that sounds about white. Woo. And it's just one nigga. Woo, I'm grateful. I thought I'd never find my way home. All right, take this jiggy for your trouble. Thanks, my nigga. First of all, how does one white Jinjo own two houses? Give one of them shits to the black Jinjo. They got nine niggas in their house. I'm sure they could use some room. <laughs> Hold up, I hear a cat scream. What is cat at? What a cat at? What a cat? Out my way, bitch. But yeah, um, wanted to talk about my grinds of bad Jokazooie uh, nuts and bolts. Now, I don't really care about the fact that it's all... Well, I do care about the fact that it's a bullshit old, like, minecart game and shit, right? Um, okay, we're stuck into... Whoa, whoa! Oh, chill. Okay. So it looks like we can't just run in there. Hold on. I think we need the waiting boots, maybe? 
All right, warning, trespassers in uh, quicksand are liable to be eaten. Well, we should have read the sign first before we ran here. But yeah, um, in Banjo, because we nuts and bolts, before the game even dropped, Rare, Microsoft, they dropped this beautiful ass trailer, which you guys are probably looking at right now. This beautiful ass trailer, man, they showed off everything. They showed Bear and the Bird. The redesigns were whatever. I like the design of Kazooie. Banjo, he looked kind of weird. He looked all blocky. He looked like he came right out of Minecraft and shit. But they showed off them. You know, I was trying to open up this door. They were teasing a new game, you know? They led me to believe that they were going to make a typical platformer game of Banjo Kazooie. I wasn't led to believe there was going to be some fucking vehicle based gameplay. No, because as soon as it knocked down the door, you saw the jiggies, you saw the notes, you saw the honeycomb, you're like, oh shit, you saw the platforming and shit, like all the places you would go around in Spiral Mountain. Dope. Fast forward. I felt like somebody pulled the wool over my eyes because when they showed us that game from Banjo Nuts and Bolts, I was just like, this ain't what you guys teased, nigga. This ain't what y'all niggas teased. Y'all teased a fucking game. I didn't see, wait, are there any notes? Uh, there probably notes are. Are there any honeycombs in Nuts and Bolts? I don't know. In any case, I felt like I was robbed. I was genuinely robbed. All right, so what is this leading? This looks like it leads us. Oh, there's a whole other area. Okay, good. I thought we were back in the main area, but this is uh, a whole new area. All right, cool. I want to backtrack through here because I believe we're going to meet another person that can help us out on our journey. I'm just going to body you real quick. But yeah, that's the main reason I'm not a fan of Banjo Nuts and Bolts. Aside from like the gameplay aspect, I was led to believe that we're going to actually go through with a brand new gameplay story of Banjo and Kazooie. Get another one of these Globos because uh, Shorty over here going to be using a Globo. Let's head inside the TP and let's go meet our new character. Hey, what's good? What's good? Wombo Wigma. All right. Help and welcome, little bird. All right, I'm Banjo and my feathered friend is Kazooie. All right, me, Humba Wumba, best magic person in the island. Well, you gotta fight with Mumbo. We heard the same thing that Mumbo was the best. Not true. Mumbo is an amateur. <laughs> Wumba's the best. Okay, so they have a rivalry going on with their magic. You have a Globo? You want to give it to Humba? Yes. So with Mumbo now actually taking the field now, um, we have to have somebody else like, to make the transformations. And Humba's gonna take that whole, uh, that whole role right here. I don't know, like, you know, like, how typically all the Banjo-Kazooie characters, like, Banjo has the, uh, good, good, Kazooie has the, uh, rah, rah, whatever the fuck she sounds like. I don't know about y'all, but it sounds a little bit racist when Humba talk. It sounds like, it just sounds like some, like, they, I feel like they clipped Pocahontas, and then they just, like, chopped the words. I don't know. It, it, it has a little hint of uh, racismo in it. But anyway, we're now a stony. All right, Wumbo called this stony. Use the control stick to move and press B for a big heap barrage. All right, jump back into Wumbo's pool and Baron Bird. Okay, bet, 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 bet. All right, cool. So yeah, Humbo's now taking control of the whole uh, transformation duties now that Mumbo's coming on the field and doing magical shit on the field. Of course, we're gonna have somebody take over the old roles. So here we are now as a stony. So in this form, I believe we'll be able to enter into the stony games, which is nice. Um, I also believe in this form. Oh, love. Uh, I'm looking for that. Can I jump? Oh, I can't jump. Okay, bet, bet, bet. I want to find that quicksand area. I believe maybe as a stony, we should have immunity to this area. We're going to find out soon enough. Okay. Nope. Yes, not. Only the giant gold man could cross the... Oh, we have to... Gotcha. So we have to use, like, the uh, the statue for that. Bet, 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 bet. Cool, 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 cool. All right, so actually... Let me swap back. All right, so let's do one thing at a time. Hey, hit him with the shoulder lead. All right, bet. Let's get all our health back. And what I probably want to do, jump back in, go talk to Mumbo, and then we'll probably bring that giant monolith statue in here. And go get that jiggy. All right, cool. So one thing I like about... Well, one thing we'll kind of figure out about Banjo-Tooie... A lot of things are interconnected. Which is kind of for better or for worse. Um, 
it carries all throughout Banjo Tooie. Actually, you know what? I ain't gonna say for metaphors. I actually like it. I think it's one of uh, Banjo Tooie's strong points. All right, this is Mumba's magic. Mumba, next time. All right, bet. Cool. So I think for each level, we need to at least have one Globo or some shit to transform into the level. Um, and after that, we're good for the level. So we're good on that. Jade Snake Grove, cool. Let me warp back. I think we just, I think we hit B, is it B? Gotta remember what button we're pressing. All right, let me go outside Mumbo Skull. Warp me there. All right, bet. Let's holla at my boy Mumbo real quick. And let's see how this shit go, baby. But yeah, um, Banjo-Kazooie Nuts and Bolts, I, I really wish that like, they didn't lead me on. Like, I felt like I was cat I was catfished. I was fucking catfished. Like, I, I really thought like, we was gonna actually get a platform in Banjo-Kazooie game. No, we didn't. All right, can we just talk back to Mumbo? All right, you want Mumbo's help? Yes, sir, let's go. Let's go, baby. Back on the field. Back on the field. Now, when it, when it comes to talk about like Banjo Kazooie nuts and bolts, like the whole vehicle shits, it ain't my thing. But where the fuck the exit at? There it is. It ain't my thing. Um, but they do have some. I mean, once you really get into it, it's I. It ain't really like amazing, you know. Can I? About to say, I, I better be able to use these warp pads as Mumbo. Actually, I wonder what. Ha wait, what happens if I try to bring? Mumbo into a Humba's TP. I know they got a rivalry going on. Here was good. It's popping, bitch. I know they have a rivalry. I know they have a rivalry. We meet again, bitch. Mumbo not welcome. Leave now or be in big heat of trouble. Mumbo, get out of pool. Bitch, what you gonna do, nigga? Huh? Mumbo not welcome. Yes, they, they don't like each other at all, dog. I wish I could hear what Mumbo says in return, dog. I want to hear like they're back and forth. All right, Mumbo is the best shaman now here. He is the shaman king. All right, anyway, um, I actually think I went to the wrong place, but let me zap this bitch. Damn. All right, Mumbo needs some more health. Fuck. All right, let's head back to the world entry. Because I believe that's just outside where the mumble pad be. Right? There we go. Cool. Bet. Oh, let's not leave the area. But yeah, but I kind of like the way how Banjo Tui set up in certain aspects. Like, this aspect right here, I like and I hope for, like, the new and future Banjo games that it utilize more of the characters back. Like, bring back Tootie, make her have her own role, make it be kind of like Banjo Kazooie, uh, not Banjo Kazooie, uh, Donkey Kong 64 where we would be able to utilize different members of the Banjo cast to do certain tasks. I like the fact that I have to go to Mumbo to do some of the magic shit. Maybe Tootie might come back with a whole arsenal that Banjo and Kazooie can't do. But then again, these days, like by the time we get to the end game of Banjo Tooie, Banjo Kazooie's gonna have a shit ton of moves, dog. Like they're gonna have way too many moves than they possibly could ever need. But that's the name of the game, baby. This game is all about progressing. Of course, we're gonna need new moves to do new things, traverse a little more. I'm with it. All right, so let's head our ass cheeks over into here, and I think we should be good. Oh, I could jump, that's good. And I should be able to make it up here to get that jiggy. Can I kick this bitch? God damn, that shit brutal. Is there anything else we can do? Uh, we can walk over here. Bro, I think that's about it. Can I kick this? I said kick. Dope. And what's it here too? Bitch. I don't know if there's anything else that we need to use this guy for. We could walk up here. No, we can't. It's a steep ramp. Can I kick this door down maybe? Is that what I gotta do? Kick the door? Yeah, that's what we gotta do. Bet, 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 bet. Cool. All right, the timer's about to run out, so we're gonna wait for the timer to run out, take us back to Mumbo, switch back to Banjo. All right, Mumbo's magic run out. All right, bet, 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 bet. And let's make some progress, baby. So it's probably gonna be just a whole bunch of switching, running around, switching, 
Um, I wish it was a little more intuitive. I mean, it's not really that cumbersome. At least it's not right now. We know we need to head to Mumbo. Um, they got war pads, so it makes it easier for us to actually head there. Oh, actually. Yeah, let's head back to Banjo. Hold on, hold on. Let's warp back to Banjo. There's a, there's a lot of things I want to do. I know how to get that honeycomb now. To get that honeycomb, I believe. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Things are starting to click. Wait. We got a, wait, so, all right. So we got a couple things on deck, baby. We got a couple things on deck, baby. You smell me? We got a couple things on deck. So we have to head back to the cow. Now that we have that grip grab, we can uh, switch back to Banjo, go to the cow, get the honeycomb over there, go into a stony, and I believe the stony will help us get the honeycomb Aww. in the beginning of the level that we saw. All right, bad, 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 bad. All right, one one step at a time, baby. One step at a fucking time. Let's head through here. And let's head to the bed. Let's head to the cow. I'm not sure how many other Jinjos are on the map. I'm not sure if they'll tell us. And I probably want to scale up this, uh, what is it, a cigarette? I don't know what the fuck this shit called. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's go on the bridge. I said, let's go. Hey, Kazooie, on the bridge. There you go. And with this, we should be able to flip. Wait, let's flip. There we go. Let's hop up in here. Grab that shit, climb up, and get this. Bet. All right, this is an extra honeycomb piece. All right, bet. We know what that shit do. We know what it do while we're here. But yeah, in my whole trip for my next Banjo game, I would love to have utilized at least one other character besides Mumbo. Um, I don't know what bottles and jam jars that whole situation do. Like, I, I like the aspect that they're kind of helping us out. I would like to see Tootie come back. They didn't even utilize it. She's just gone. I don't know why they just totally just yeeted her. Wait, wait, wait. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I don't know if there's anything in particular. Oh, there's something back here. All right, cool, 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 cool. Yeah, I just want to um, utilize Tootie. I think that she's perfect. They didn't even utilize her in this game, so I think she's perfect for this. Um, And kind of, you know, make the rest of the cast just do things, explore the world different ways that other characters can't do. All right, what does this do for us? All right. Target, target is in tomb. I think that's what it's called. I think this might be one of our first. Let me enter in. Halt! No one enters until they've learned the ancient art of bird handling. Oh, gee, I wonder what that means. Perhaps Jam Jars Bozo can tell us. All right, bet. So we don't have the ability to do so just yet. So we'll definitely come back here when the time is right. When the time is right, baby, that's exactly what we'll do. All right, cool. So let's head right over to Humble Wumble. Humble Wumble. Let's head right over to her. Where the fuck the warp pad be? Warp pads. Yeah, honestly, maybe I'm, I've been gassed about how big the world. I mean, the worlds are pretty big, but thankfully we do have these warp pads. Like, head back to M Humble Wumble. Easy as that, blab. I mean, of course you have to get there the first time and get to the warp pad, but everything, I feel like everything, at least as of right now, I'm, I'm starting to like dial back my my criticism of Banjo-Tooie. I feel like all the warp pads are in reach, you know, a hop skipping away of where I need to be. Morph me back into a stony. All right, bet. And let's head into here. Now, I think there's a couple things that we can do now as a stony. First things first, now that we're shorter, we'll be... Ha Wait, don't go back in here. Now that we're shorter, I believe we will have the ability to enter into... Where the fuck it at? Where the fuck it at? Here we go. And I want to warp right out here. And I think what I want to do now is make your way over to... Wait, there is some joints. Wait, there the joint at. There the joints. So I believe if it come in here, I can get this honeycomb right here. Is there anything else? Nope. All right, cool. And I think I probably want to make my way over to the... Does that hurt? Does this guy hurt me? Oh, he does hurt. I hate these niggas. I gotta dodge. Gotta dodge. I'm fucking stoned. How's a fucking blow dart hurting me, man? Shit ain't making no damn sense. Shit ain't making no damn sense. Well, now that we are a stony, what I want to do is actually enter into this. Ooh, a brown Jinjo. 
Uh, let me go talk to this Stony over here. So, these guys are kind of racist. They don't talk to you unless you are a Stony as well. So, let me talk to this nigga. All right. Shoot the giant stone one between the eyes. Who's the giant stone one? They're giving me hints, but I don't know hints for what. All right. So, does this guy let us in now? Uh, I'm Banjo the Stony. Can I come in and play? Hmm. I don't know. That backpack looks kind of familiar. Are you saying that we're a bear and bird in the elaborate disguise trying to cheat our way in? Yep, it's pretty obvious. But they're a bit short on players, so you might as well go in anyway. <laughs> that nigga said, nigga, I know it's y'all. But we need players, so come through. <laughs> Y'all ain't fooling nobody. All right, actually, we should be able to warp in now. I think we might need to be a stony to even enter in. So I don't think there's much we can do in here as Banjo Kazooie, but we now have a warp pad to get in here. It makes it a lot easier. Welcome to the Bayern Amateur Kickball Championship. All right. You may enter the quarterfinals, but I advise you to take a little training downstairs first. All right, cool. All right, so next episode, we about to do some kickball tournament bullshit. Um, we're going to be here in the same exact place, doing the same exact thing. And we about to get a kickball on, baby. All right, let's go. All right.